hello fellow gamers and I'm playing Fallout 4 and this is another settlement tour it is my final settlement tour video in the standard vanilla version of Fallout 4 with no DLC we're at Sanctuary I have 34 settlers with a happiness rating of 90% the reason I've got so many settlers here is because all of my companions are here except strong he's over there at red rocket because he doesn't like it when i get in and out of power armor and i didn't want to lose his perks so i i shoved him over there got one of my defense towers here because there isn't an enemy spawn point out here i have put a wall all the way around this settlement have uh, a few guard posts dotted along this wall with some machine gun turrets I did have spotlights here but uh, every time you go away from the settlement and try fast travel back the spotlights aren't working and you have to go into workshop mode uh, select them and then deselect them for them to come on again and I just got fed up with that so I just I just put these lights lights there instead we only have one entrance and exit into the settlement a couple of the big bronze lions here so they look nice and our artillery piece as you can see I've double walled the front part of the settlement as well we have our traders post here for visiting traders a couple of the scavenging stations Hi, I'm alright thanks you oh, ignore me then yes. yay we have dog meat with his lovely welding goggles on <laughs> he lives here at Sanctuary cooking station I have four bars here because they raise happiness at settlement we have the scribe he can be found wandering the wastelands buddy I'm busy go on then tell me a joke So you can either get a joke from him or he'll give you a beer. You can actually find various recipes in the wasteland for Buddy. Uh, like stout, uh, pilsner, lager, what have you. And he'll produce them. They're just magically made in, inside of him. And then you can, you can sell them using as a currency really. And this one we have uh, Smiling Larry, he's a level 4 weapons vendor. Because normally you can only have up to level 3, but you find these people wandering the wa wastelands and you can assign them to the various stores and it turns them into a, a store into a level 4. Uh, this one we have Anne Hargreaves, but she seems to be missing at the moment. General store. Lots of doctors because they raise happiness as, as well. But it's like I, I think Smiling Larry is the best one because he has tons and tons of weapons. Oh, it's you. <coughs> no, I'm busy doing a settlement tour. Go away. We have our weapons workbench, armor workbench, and a chemistry station. I've not done anything inside of these really apart from maybe block off the odd bit scrap everything inside 
Nothing else. Well, there's Anne Hargreaves. We have our bell to ring our settlers and our recruitment radio beacon. Show you around the back first before we go into the buildings. We have a siren here. This area was used to um, build the machine that you get you used to get into the institute for the first time but it breaks after you use it so I just scrapped the machine and left this area like this we have some melons grown here but they aren't at the moment some corn that Preston's General there's a settlement that needs our help but unfortunately he is glitched and <coughs> I cannot choose him as a companion. All he does is talk. I need you to be my companion so I can get my perk. Cries a pain. Some potatoes here. And some meat fruits. <coughs> Another defence tower. I don't know why I built another artillery piece here, because if you throw a smoke grenade, only one of them will fire. Because I tested out that theory at the castle, because I've got five of them, and only one of them fires at a time, so it's pointless having more than one at a settlement. I've got some life preservers here, just in case somebody falls in the water, because it is extremely extremely deep. It must be at least up to my ankles. Some water purifiers and I've got another wall with some machine gun turrets over there as well. And I, all my settlers sleep in here. Oh, why do they get in the way? A lot of buildings I actually build two entrances and exits because they just love standing in the in the way. Oh, there's Smiling Larry. It's just beds in here, there's nothing fancy. I haven't put any pictures or plants in here yet. I just wanted to keep them out of the way of my power armour. <coughs> So you just sometimes do your nutting. We have our T60 power arm here. It's the lead version, which is ideal for the glowing sea. Nuka Cola machine with some ice cold Nuka Nuka Cola Quantum, and you can actually pick them up and place them in here like that. It's a bit fiddly, but it is possible. There's a seating area here for us settlers with some, I don't know if you'd call that air conditioning, a couple of fans anyway. And our Flames X01 power armor. Here we have Mama Murphy. Do you want some jet? How about some buff out? Cuts freaky, it's almost she, like she's listening. <laughs> she likes chems, apparently. You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. Yeah, that sounds about, about right in real life for me. Always finding trouble. Uh, in this cab, I usually have clothing and weapons that I sell. And I have gold as well, in stacks of 30,000. Spare scrap in here. In this one, I have some rubbish weapons. What I do is I, I'll drop a dozen and then I'll store them in my workshop, and that lowers your settlement size bar just in case you didn't know that. And I've, I've done a video on that. 
some more scrap here and I used the workshop duplication glitch to get all of this and I've done a video on that as well in here I have just the, the various you know decorative items and every once in a while I'll transfer these to the cabinet or toolbox in home plate in Diamond City In here I have all the various flip braided ballistic weave clothing that I've collected. And combat armor and hats and all sorts in here, mining helmets. I've also got uh, spare weapons in here, 902 laser sniper rifles, blimey. I think I've got a bit too many. 109 gorse rifles. I'll probably give those to my, all my sanctuary settlers at some point. Just spare, spare clothing and some different types of weapons in here as well. Not really done anything to the kitchen area apart from a painting and a chair. A table with a Voltec lunchbox. Got a couple of mounted rat, rat stag heads. Mounted ro mole rat. I don't know what's wrong with me today, I can't speak. Mounted Brahmin and Mylert Claw. These I have spare ammo. I only have a maximum of thirty thousand in each because if you had say like I don't know I don't know what the limit is but I know thirty thousand is okay. If you take any more, if you had like seventy thousand or sixty thousand thirty eight rounds and you took them took them all out at once. Uh, the game glitches out and you you lose the majority of them but you can keep as many as you want as long as you just remember to take out 30,000 and no more at a time the same goes for scrap items as well glitches out so. in here I've got the various drinks didn't get many Deezus lemonade because uh, he got deaded, so I only got 11 of those, because you get them off him for free. Uh, these are the, what uh, Buddy gets, what he can produce, ale, brew, lager, pale, pilsner and stout. And you actually have to hunt around the Commonwealth for these recipes, but he produces these for nothing. You know, every time you go away from the settlement and come back, just check, you know, where back where the settlement that Buddy's at is. Uh, check with him, and you have half a dozen or a dozen of each of these different items. So you 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 could use them as a currency if you wanted and sell them. But we've got a thousand and nine ice cold Nuka Cola. Some lovely poisoned wine there various food items in here I've got a couple of these ice cold nuka cola quantums here because they give off a ni nice light during the evenings that's just some ice cold and non ice cold items in there I've just got uh, weapons mines and grenades in here you can rename weapons to a weapons workbench if you put a dash or a dot before them like I have they'll appear at the top so it's a handy tip for you and I also put the caliber of each type and I've just got more in here as well and 5500 purified water too in here I have all my crops plants 
and chems. And they're all kept in this one. So I've got over four and a half thousand purified water there as well. Fair bit of radex and rad away. In here is every single legendary weapon I have collected in the game apart from the last minute gorse rifle because I've lost that I don't know where it is I think I've given I gave it to Preston or something and because he's glitched out I can't get it back but I, I, I've been searching for it never found it so I don't know and in this one it's legendary melee weapons and I've kept all of those as well I thought if I do get the DLC for, you know the game of year version I would mount these on a wall somewhere rather than keep them in in a toolbox in this one I have legendary uh, leather clothing items quite a few of those legendary metal clothing items again there are those uh, various legendary synth armor and institute clothing items I've just got uh, a couple of at least a couple of all the different various clothing items in the game in this one plus um, any of the unique items that you come across right there it's got a corset there I don't know if that was Kate that had that and Grognak costume you only get one of those so Kellogg's outfit, Creedy's hat, you know, those sort of things I just put in here. Silver shroud armor, silver shroud hat. And in this one, we have the, all the legendary combat armor and Brotherhood of Steel clothing items. So I suppose you want to see what's in the main building. I have uh, three entrances to it. Because the settlers love to stand in the doorways. So I made sure I could get into. And as you, as you can see, I have done some decorating in here. Have some weapons on the rack there. A couple of cooking stoves. Pictures on the walls all around. A few beers for Kate. Some Yuka Cola and Yuka Cola cherry in there. I bet that bottle falls down. Yep, typical. have all the table decorated up but uh, sometimes you'll, you'll go away from the settlement come back and it will all be underneath I try and put it in the middle as well so that any settlers or companions that sit down don't knock it over I have some private bathroom facilities here it's private because there's look there's a, a little wooden bit in between each one this took me ages to decorate because you have to place each item individually you know like just what I did with that nuka cherry over there 
You have to do the same with this. Thankfully it hasn't been knocked all over the place by settlers or companions. And I've done the same this side as well. All them purified walls have fallen over. See I'd love to do this at all my sermons, something along this lines. Make it look homely and lived in, but you can't unless you use mods. I mean, it's the place anywhere mod which will glue items down. I don't know why Bethesda can't put that in in the next Fallout game. So that you know, you can do things like this, make it look lovely. Oh, the items have fallen through again. This is what I'm on about. You go away, you come back and... I don't want to steal it, I just want to put it back on the table. There was an ashtray there as well that's gone. have to put the bits cigarette on the top. Yeah the items just disappear through the table, through the floor sometimes. It's not too bad with pool tables. They don't seem to do it as much with the pool tables. A couple of cigarette machines with some cigarettes in them. I'm um, having to actually record this settlement tour video in segments because the game it it's, must have crashed at least a dozen times. I've been trying and trying for hours to record this settlement tour video. The game it's just it's just ah uh, it's doing me head in. So I'm doing it in five minute segments. So that when it does crash, I don't have to start it all over again. We have some Parama stations. These T51s are for when I get the DLC. If I ever do get it, then I can have them in the various new colours. I have some spare X01 in all the various colours. These two are just a a mishmash of different power armor just to make them look a little bit different to the normal. We have the Brotherhood power armor there. Same there. I have one with a stealth boy and one with a jetpack. There we have a paladin armor as well with a stealth boy and a jetpack. And all of these are fully upgraded. There's my Raider Power Armor, the only item I've got, Tessa's Fist. And some of the T-51. I've only got the chest piece for that. And my T-60 Legendary Power Armor. And unfortunately I didn't get all the pieces for this either because there should be another leg for it and I think there was something else as well, if I remember right. Um, because I fell out with the Brotherhood so I didn't actually complete that properly. Oh well. <coughs> and on this floor... Mm -hmm. We have two of all the power armors in all of the various colors, all fully upgraded, of course. We have the one with the stealth boy, one with the jetpack, T45, T51, T60, 
and these two are left there because you get the um, the white Institute XO one power armor so they'll be going there when I get that far in the game I do aim to finish the game I've only put 1500 hours into Fallout 4 I enjoy collecting power armor it's my hobby some people collect stamps I collect power armor military power armor that is I have done a video on how you can get uh, the power armor part that you need you have to go searching for it it's in one of my tips videos you have to find the magazines to, to get some of them like the flames paint job some of them like they'll boost uh, charisma or they'll boost strength or weight carrying or what have you Pretty similar colours. There's my T45 minute men. Stealth boy and jetpack. I could have just had the ones with the jetpack really. But I thought nah I'll have two of two of everything. <laughs> That's just the Raider Power Armor and the Raider 2 Power Armor. Atom Cats Railroad and a few empty power off armor frames that you can buy from Aturo at Diamond City or um, what's the face at the Atom Cats you can buy various frames and these are just my spare Raider Wands, spare T45, spare T51, spare T60, and spare X01. And then on the next floor. <laughs> Oops, I think I went a bit mental with power armor frames. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, I just put them all up here out the way. I thought, what am I going to do with them all? I just got too many. I just kept buying them or finding them and mainly buying them. I don't know how many I've got, but my goodness. I bet I've got enough for a good half a dozen settlements to all have power armor. Oh, I didn't show you down here. There's nothing really much up here, but <clears throat> the sort of show you what I've done just put all around it and I put the Brahmin troughs here and they just I don't know what's up with them they just don't stay in here I thought put them up this end out the way and they just wander around I would if I ever get the DLC I want to rebuild this building. I have a grand vision f of what I want to do, and it will uh, be pretty epic. But I don't think I could restart the game again because I'd have to collect all that power armor again, and I don't know. We'll, we'll see. 
I think the game keeps crashing because of this element because I've built a lot and uh, I don't know how many times I've gone over the settlement build limit a lot six eight ten times or more this is just another way I come up here if I want to get directly to my power armor without my settlers doing my nutting by blocking the entrance so I'll just put that there Well, many thanks for watching. I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.